self-confidence and self-esteem. Are they the same thing or they are totally different? That's what we are going to find out in today's video. So hit the thumbs up and let's go. Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Usama and on my channel we talk about how to better your life and how to get more inspired so that you can achieve more personal growth, joy and fulfillment in your life. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification button so that you won't miss any new video. I will be making a series of videos on confidence and self-esteem and since it's very important to understand the basics foundations what is the confidence self-confidence and what is the self-esteem i have made this video self-esteem is the way that you see yourself internally the way that you perceive yourself and your value is the way that you feel about yourself it's a form of self-love or self-worth and it also impacts the way that you see the world around you because everything outside of you is barely a mirror of how you see things inside of you for example if someone has low self-esteem he will see the outside world as an unfriendly place or unsafe place or a place filled with uh, hatred or negativity or people don't respect me people don't like me but when someone has high self-esteem, he will see beauty all around him. Although he might experience some difficult situations, but he will stay seeing the world as a beautiful and friendly place. And he will perceive people as people like me, people like to spend time with me. Because I am likable and I am a lovable person. And all of this stuff about self-esteem also has to do with the inner critical voice inside your mind. Which is always putting you down or scolding you. We will come how to treat that later in later videos about self-esteem. In addition, self-esteem or the image that you see yourself is made up due to life experiences. The circumstances and situations that you have experienced in the past has formed sort of belief systems inside your subconscious mind that absorb the situation and take the assumption of it and build beliefs which are programmers or like softwares inside your brain. As an example, if someone has experienced a lot of bullying at school, a lot of traumatic events, especially from parents, this person might have issues with self-esteem due to that circumstances as a coping mechanism. What about confidence? Self-confidence is the amount of trust that you have in yourself to do certain tasks or activities. Even confidence comes from the Latin word confidera. Confidera means to trust. To trust who? To trust yourself. Self-confidence is situation specific and it can change with changing the situation. As an example, if we take the world champion in uh, kai diving, he's very confident about himself that he can drop himself from an airplane with parachute. Why? Because he has experienced a lot and then he trusts that he can manage and he can handle easily. But if that same person, let's say we will give him an airplane to lead it, he has zero confidence about that because he didn't experience that. Let's take another example. Me, for example, I am confident that I can speak in English to other people. I can make videos in English. Now I'm learning German language recently, but I'm not confident in that. I'm not confident that I can make videos in German or I can go and speak fluently without doing mistakes in German language. Why? Because I still don't have the experience. So I'm not confident about myself in speaking German right now, but I'm confident about myself that I can learn it and I can practice it. Then I can reach my self-confidence in speaking German. So some people could have a high self-esteem and at the same time low self-confidence and vice versa for example maybe someone has low self-esteem he does not see himself as important person but at the very same time he could have high skill in playing guitar for example on stages he could be brilliant he's very confident about himself in playing guitar but he has low self-esteem so after the playing finish he will sit with himself he'd say oh i am a bad person or oh, they didn't like me or oh, i don't think that anyone will like me and usually high self-esteem can lead easily to higher self-confidence in situations because when someone loves himself and he has a good perception about who is the person he is this will ease his learning process to do certain tasks and situation and make him more confident also another important point to talk about that self-confidence as i said is related to situation specific but generally 
when people talk about confidence they mean the social confidence that's where it is connected to self-esteem so social confidence come in a way or a form of thoughts that i am good person i'm not waiting for others to give me my value i trust myself that i am a good person and i am loved person that where it get connected with self-esteem and in the next videos i will talk how to build your self-esteem how to build your confidence social self-confidence and also self-confidence related to skills and situation that you need to learn i need to break through the fear to get the confidence in these situations now my question is for you do you know more differences between self-confidence and self-esteem and in which part you would like to learn more share with us what you think in the comments below so that make this video more interactive and we all benefit from each other and now you may see on the screen the list of videos that i made on self-confidence and self-esteem and i will be adding the incoming videos about this topic so make sure that you watch them you can click on them watch and enjoy and i see you there best regards usama